Hello everyone and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. In today's episode, let me see. I don't know if we'll, before I do anything else, I'm going to do a bit of work on this. Um, I have some cement mix for once. So this is all going to get upgraded. This is the part that faces the horde. Okay, that's the inside taken care of. Um, this stuff's not so important, so I'll leave it till later. Yeah. Yeah, for once I didn't fall. I've already fallen more than once off this thing. Um, Alright, is there anything left down here that needs upgrade? It's all upgraded. You'd think that was actually one pillar, but it's actually four small ones. Just like this. It's a little extravagant with the materials, but... It also means there's more things for the zombies to knock out before it actually becomes critical. But as you can see, I'm just going to be making sure that all of the low level stuff is upgraded. This will get upgraded too, and eventually I think this will be a solid concrete under here, but it comes second to making sure all of this um, upgraded. See, like here, this needs upgrading. Because these are the parts that I like to get beaten on. And once done that I got just a bit more, more base work and uh, seeing as I got a mini bike, I might do some exploring. So yeah, it does take a while to upgrade us. Eventually this will all become reinforced concrete and some of it might even become steel. Like, actually I think I got some forged steel that I got from somewhere. I've been picking up the old bit and that since I haven't been using almost none of it. Um, I might update the area right in front of me um, when the horde's coming at me to steal because that is probably going to be the area that takes the worst hits. And let's see. So yeah, this is going to be fun and of course this will all need upgrading as well because I'm going to be shooting down onto this, and there's going to be explosions. And, um, let me just very carefully... Oh wow, I used the last of it, of course now I want to actually upgrade something. Oh well, I got the part that I needed. And um, let's see what else have we got, bricks and all the other stuff. So I had just enough. And as you can see how far away from the safety of home I am, the good stuff's down there. I might do some more land clearance up here, but um Yeah. Now time to work on the basement downstairs. Start prettying it up a little bit. Especially now that the urgent stuff like the horde base is taken care of. I can sort of spend a bit more time on making this place look pretty. I'm eventually going to have to come back and line this entire tunnel. As much for anti-zombie reasons as uh, structural and... I missed a bit, didn't I? Oh well, i got some more mix to come. I just need to mix up a bit more, I think. Uh... Oh yeah, plus I also... Started doing a bit more digging out. Um, this will be the armory eventually. As you can see, it's a work in progress. And I think I'll do a bit of exploring. Um, I got some decent guns now, so I don't really have to fear the town and the snow to the north. So I might head a POI up there or something. Not 100% sure. I'll just put the rifle away and I'll swap those around. Get the hammer out. And as you can see, I've dug this area all right out back to here. So I can actually do some proper construction work. Probably shouldn't have dug it all the way down though, that was a bit of an oversight. A waste of bricks really. But quality is 
is important so I won't just throw some wood frames in there. I mean I could, it doesn't really affect structural integrity in any way but Right. Oh for God's sake, I hate it when I do that. Okay. Now I feel like an idiot. And as you can see, this place is starting to take shape. I'm actually starting to look like a proper place rather than a hole in the ground. Um, I will need to do some work on the lighting. Yeah, I got distracted. Okay, how much mix and sand have I got? Heaps of mix, heaps of sand. Yeah, I will. Okay, where did I put that? It's over here. One whole stack. Well, that surprised me. Must have some. Must I actually have some more? But I think it's stashed somewhere. I need to move that sometime. It's getting in the way. It was fine though when it was needed temporarily. You better turn it down a little bit. Good thing about doing this is you actually get a lot of um, XP for this. This is a bit of an expensive roof, but it works. You can't uh, deny that. And also, it's stronger, so avoid certain problems. Like last time I did a big underground build, I had a lot of trouble with collapses. So, put the pillars closer together this time, and um, I'm also using metal for the roof. Right, did I go actually hit up the iron mine? and then I'll go do the road trip and at least hit one PI on camera It's actually easier to come down from the top than it is to come up from the bottom. Sakes, I hate it when I do that, especially as bricks are expensive. I just hit one that I didn't want to hit, did I? Yeah, alright, I'll come back and fix that later. Oh, 
Let's see. That side taken care of. And you do have to upgrade these first because otherwise, um, you run into the odd issue of. Well, you know, not being able to get at things that you've built, and that becomes a little infuriating. Anyway, I think I'll come back and finish this off camera or something. I do have a lot more digging to do, and I do want a bit more. Things of videos where it's just not just me trying to build things all the time. Maybe a decent road trip. Okay, so that stuff can all go away. I think I'll leave the hammer down here because I'm getting sick of having to run up top and get it every time. Yeah, this isn't really the proper place for all of this stuff. Yeah, I'll just leave the hammer down here. Right, plenty of bullets, medical gear, repair kits, a knife. Yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. Alright, I'll see you on the road. Okay, one thing I do like about this is I have tweaked the bike speed so it's a little bit faster. I did say I was going to hit the town, but I haven't been in here yet, so... Let's see if there's an easy way in. Alright, we've got one contender already. And we've got the shotgun for if we get a crowd. And be a quick and lazy loot because there's no real point. I mean, I've got plenty of supplies. Oh, shit! Wasn't expecting that ambush. <laughs> yeah, all right, I need the metal. I actually have more drinks than I can drink, but I mean, that's that's. Why can't I? Right, what do I get a feeling that those birds are going to show up? Wait, no vultures? That's a surprise. Oh well, goodies. More goodies. Yeah, I need those for some shit, but... Alright, that's that for this place. Um, I'll see you when I get to the town. Okay, I had a bit of a change of plan instead of coming back over to where the bookstore is. So remember, there's some more shops and stuff here, and I've never really checked this area out. Savage country. Yeah, it's probably not really worth it, but alright. to start raining zombies any second now. Yeah, that's useful. First contender to feel the brutality. Alright, there comes another one. Hey, that was 
neat. I got some good stuff. Most of this is just trash, but okay, I can you can never have too many repair kits. And this is how I've been getting by with so little crafting. So there's just so much stuff to grab. Okay, let's have a look around. And of course, I was actually expecting a trap in that tent. Um, how do I get in there? Oh, I'm probably going to run around up there. Taking <laughs> a tumble. Alright, let's have a quick run and gun. I was right. in the dunny. This has to be some real worst nightmare shit. Figures. There would be trouble up in the roof cavity. I mean, admittedly it's a viable hiding place if nothing can get up here, but it's also a pretty lousy place to stay. Alright, I'm upstairs and I still don't really, really get it how I got up here, but alright. Should get in there too sometime. fun here. It's not very often you get to parkour your way around uh, the building. Um, okay now I need to come around here. I was right. There is trouble in here. That's just nasty. Okay, um, are there any more trouble in here? Oh, I was hoping for some okay, cash register. Money! Alright, there's probably nothing of value in that one, but we shall take a look anyway. I was right, there wasn't really anything of value. Okay, let's see what else is there. Some bullets. Never have too many bullets. Let's see what happens if I. I mean, okay, it's a waste of shotgun shells, but I have a surplus of the things. Okay, it's just quicker just to hammer on it with this thing. Maybe this is a good pick, but a steel one would be faster. Especially a level 6 steel pick, that would really speed things up. Oh look, we've got some customers. That was a two for one deal. <laughs> Neat! I mean, I took out all three of them with just two shots. That's what I call a win. 
Okay, let's see what else is there. Anything of value? I'm not going to bother with the clothes because they're just pretty a waste of. Okay, so that's where they came from. Nothing of value. Not no zombie surprise in here. I'm surprised. I mean, it got kind of dark out, but um, yeah. You'd think there'd be something valuable in here with that kind of security. Um, there isn't. Just losers. And yeah, this thing causes massive property destruction. I clear this whole area. Oh no, wait, that's because I went through into there and got distracted. Alright, that looks like that's the whole place. I guess we'll leave the video here because it'll be approaching 20 minutes now. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel for more daily videos. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time in 7 Days to Die.